Good morning. We're in Greenfield, Indiana this morning, and I hope you have an opportunity to go back and look at some of the previous segments. And I'm with here with uh, David Hine, a uh, military veteran himself. Yes, sir. And for those who have just joined us, I've only said that 11,000 mm -hmm. times in my career, but tell us what we are looking at right here. We're looking at the Wall that Heals. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, program that the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund started. Uh, yeah. to bring to the people throughout the United States a way to help honor and remember those that uh, lost their lives in Vietnam. This is a recreation, but about a three-quarter scale, three -quarter scale yes, of sir. the one in D.C., is Absol that correct? Absolutely. And it has over the last, today, Saturday, it will be today, all day, 24 hours. Correct. And then Sunday and still about two, I believe. Yes, sir. So it obviously, let's say the obvious, it, it attracts veterans of yes, all sir. type to see the, this is an emotional experience. Have you witnessed that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you see somebody go up and maybe they haven't been to, to Washington, D.C. To, to see the actual wall. They see their loved one's name on the wall and uh, several break down. It's, I bet. It's just uh, too emotional for them. Now your input into this or your special program is a very, is a small a section of this. Yes. And tell us who those veterans are that you want to memorialize. Okay. Uh, the Memorial Fund also has a program called the In Memory Program. And what they do, uh, it honors those that served in Vietnam, came home, but later died as a result of their service there through PTSD, Agent Orange related cancers, diabetes. Uh, there's, there's several. So it's not just that, names, I want to say not just names on a wall, that's important, but they also have a, a, web, a page on the website, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The names can't be put on the wall because that's governed by the Department of Defense. I understand. So the Memorial Fund like I said, one to honor them. So they have it in memory ceremony every year in June. Uh, people can submit the applications, which uh, is yeah. slowly, it's, the word is getting out about the program mm -hmm. because right now only 85 men from Indiana have been inducted into the honor roll. Wow. Okay. And, and we should say that a third of all the veterans in Indiana are Vietnam veterans. Yes, sir. So there's a lot of them. We're going to talk to a couple of veterans in the next, okay. in the next, um, uh, uh, section. So uh, thank you for, for okay. being here and doing all this. Back thank to you, the sir. studio.